be right here. Morgan. Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 59th graduation exercises of Manson Memorial High School. Before we get started, we'd like everyone to please rise as Morgan Blaze sings our national anthem and we salute the flag, we'll start with the flag salute. I pledge allegiance So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were still gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the Good evening, everyone. Before I get started, just a few questions. I saw people looking at their watches already, and the ceremony hasn't even started yet, saying, how long is this going to be, okay? And for those that are new to the memorial graduations, let's just say this, just don't go to the lavatory anytime during the ceremony. You'll miss half of it. We've already had four award ceremonies for these young people, and here is their Oprah Winfrey moment. They all get the same thing. You get a diploma. You get a diploma. They all get a diploma. <laughs> I I'm showing my age because everybody over 40 laughed at that. Anybody under did not laugh at that, so, okay? We have quite a few people to introduce, uh, to introduce this evening. Let me just get started with the person on my extreme left. He may look familiar to you. Uh, this is his uh, 14th high school graduation as an administrator, Mr. Keith Puglisi, our assistant principal. <laughs> Seated next to Keith, another assistant principal. This is also her 14th graduation as an administrator, Ms. Mary Jo Burke. Seated next to her is our valedictorian and our get one of our featured speakers, Christine Lee. <laughs> Seated next to her, our class secretary, Lucas Hurley. <laughs> Seated next to him is our salutatorian, class president, and featured speaker, Thomas Gurton. 
Seated next to Tom, Ward 7 School Board member, Ross Terrio. <laughs> Seated next to Mr. Terrio, our Ward 6 representative of the School Board, Mr. Daniel Bergeron. Seated next to him, our Ward 4 representative of the School Board, Mrs. Leslie Want. <laughs> Seated next to her, one of the co-superintendents of school at the current time, Ms. Amy Allen. <laughs> Seated next to her, a proud 1985 grad of Memorial High School, our mayor for the city of Manchester, the Honorable Joyce Craig. <laughs> On this side, one of our co-superintendents of schools, Mrs. Jennifer Gillis. <laughs> the next person should look very familiar to you. I think he's at more events than I am, and that's saying a lot. Our vice chairman of the school board, the Ward 9 representative, Mr. Arthur Beaudry. Seated next to Mr. Beaudry, our Ward 3 School Board representative, Mrs. Mary Georges. <laughs> Seated next to her, our Ward 8 School Board member, Mr. James LaHue. <laughs> Seated next to Mr. LaHue, I know he's anxious to be introduced, so I'll do it now, the Class Vice President, Evan Young. Seated next to Mr. Young, our class treasurer, Tyler Merrill. <laughs> Seated next to Tyler, third honors, Jason Tang. <laughs> our class advisor of the class of 19, Mrs. Tara Misho. <laughs> and finally, only in his second year as an administrator, this is his second graduation, Mr. Jonathan Barry, our assistant principal. <laughs> Now, sadly, I, I, I don't like to keep count, but uh, I knew this class was going to be a special class. This is my 30th high school graduation in the city of Manchester as a, an administrator. So I'm extremely proud of these people seated before you today. Helping me out this evening is a special group of people. I put the call out to them. I said, I want to send the class of 19 out with a special something. Can you help me? And I got volunteers over my email countless times, Arthur, I want to be there to help you, okay? So tonight, we have a special group of people as our guide-ons this evening, the people seated on the ends of the graduates, and I'm going to introduce every one of them so you know who they are. They're the ones that really make the school district go. Seated in the first seat over there, the future superintendent of the Messiniac School District, the principal of Beach Street School, Dr. Christine Martin. <laughs> Seated behind her, the principal of the middle school at Parkside, Mr. Forrest Ransdell. <laughs> Seated behind Mr. Ransdell, the principal of the Henry Wilson School, Ms. Bolly Golden. <laughs> oh, Liz, you made it. Hey. Seated behind her, the principal of the Weston School, this is Liz McDonald. <laughs> Seated behind her, the principal of Green Acres School, Mr. Richard Norton. <laughs> Seated behind him is the future principal of Parker Varney School, Mrs. Kelly Espinola. <laughs> Seated behind her is the principal of Bakersville School, Miss Kathy, Katie Joseph. <laughs> Seated behind her, the principal of McDonough School, Mr. Ken DiBenedetto. <laughs> Seated behind Mr. DiBenedetto is the principal of Gosler Park and Memorial High grad, Lori Upham. <laughs> Seated behind her is the assistant principal, one of the assistants, from the middle school of Parkside, Mr. Jeffrey Hebert. <laughs> Seated behind him is the principal of Hillside Middle School, Mr. Brendan McCafferty. <laughs> and seated behind him is the assistant principal of West High School, one of them, Ms. Laura Lord. 
Let's go to this side. The guy over here sitting in the front, okay, got up early this morning. He already had a graduation, but this group over here, the first three, I don't even know why they're here. They're, they're helping me out big time because we work well together and there's no, there's no really rivalry between the schools. The principal of Central High School, Mr. John Vaccarezza. <laughs> Seated by him, behind him, one of the assistant principals, Ms. Deb Rookie. <laughs> Seated behind her, another assistant principal from Central High School, Ms. Jane Clayton. <laughs> the principal of Highland Goffs Falls School, Susan Matthews. <laughs> oh, okay, just recognize you with. Okay, sitting down, the assistant principal of Smith Road School, Ms. Rochelle Otero. Okay, she wanted me to say more. How many people remember Miss Moore from Green Acres? Is anybody? She's here for you tonight, right there. The principal of Smith Road School, Miss Janet Briggs. We have someone from Central Office helping out today. The executive director of the Innovation Zone, Miss Sherry Nichols. The principal of Hallsville School. Mr. Chris McDonald. We got a little bit of a gap there, huh, Lewis? Sitting in the back, the assist, one of the assistant principals from Southside, Mr. Lewis Cataldo. And this last person needs no inter introduction. He's got an association with Memorial for almost 50 years. The retired assistant principal Memorial, Mr. Peter Perrick. I'm so proud of our coll my colleagues to be here with you this evening, and I'm grateful, forever grateful, for them to be here tonight. It's a Saturday night. They could be doing other things, but they came here to honor you guys. That's how important this is. We'll start with our speakers. Our first speaker this morning, or this, uh, this, uh, this afternoon, this evening. I did it all. Okay? Well, it says here this morning. I didn't change it from last year. I was hopeful is our senior class president. Now, here's an unusual thing. In the last six years, five of the class presidents have either been the salutatorian or the valedictorian. And in this case, there's no exception. The class president is the salutatorian. So just think of his, him giving two speeches both at the same time. The Honorable Thomas Jennings Girton. All right, before I get things started, I'd like to continue the tradition of the class picture. And for all of you who played Assassins this year, no, I will not be taking it on my phone. Sorry, we got out. I'm sorry, I don't have very long arms. <laughs> all right. I would like to ex extend a thanks to all the friends and families who came here today to celebrate our achievement. To all the teachers and faculty who never gave up on us and pushed us to greatness. We wouldn't be graduating today if it weren't for you. Well, we've managed to do it, guys. We've survived those long nights of caffeine-fueled madness to get done that one paper we had all month to do. We survived those tests we didn't realize were today. We got through those mornings where we could barely get out of bed. Yet now, it's all worth it. We are graduating. Through all this hard work, <laughs> through all this hard work we've done, we've given ourselves the opportunity to be where we are today. We've accomplished this all through, say it with me now, consistency. Why the apple, you're wondering? Long story short, in my speech for class president, I, was, I demonstrated I was consistent by explaining how I always brought an apple to school with me. A little unorthodox, I know, but it got the point across. So, as we all move on, we should all have a little consist consistency in our lives. 
We should be consistent in our efforts to not, get, to not give up when times get tough. In our passions, to not lose the things that we love. And in our goals, to not lose sight of what pushes us forward. A little consistency goes a long way, but I've come to the realization that that isn't the only apple we need. This apple precedes all the rest. Drive. To get anywhere in life, you need that force that pushes you forward. That little something to get you through the day. Drive has gotten to where you are. Graduation today, dreams tomorrow, and out of your bed this morning. Without drive, we wouldn't be sitting here. We need this drive to continue moving forward, and wherever we end up, I'm sure we're all doing great things. <laughs> then, like every apple, we are different. We can be similar, but no two people are exactly the same. We need to remember we are all individuals with a unique set of skills. Where some struggle, others will thrive, and that's okay. We need to remember to be ourselves and not be like the rest of the apples. Being individual is what makes you special and stand out in the crowd. Don't lose sight of what makes you unique. Embrace it. So, as we all move on to bigger and better things in life, I want you all to remember these three apples. Being consistent in everything you do. Having the drive to continue moving forward. And being your own individual. And I know this can be a bit difficult to manage, but in life we'll have to be able to learn to juggle what's thrown at us. And sometimes we have to learn to pick up the pieces. Thank you. We'll miss you, Memorial. At this time, I'd like to call up the chamber choir members of the senior class to come up, and we'll be singing our class, our, our musical selection this evening. Broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round, and you can't find the fighter, but I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out.
Before we get to our next speaker, I'd like to ask some people some questions. First of all, among the audience, how many of you are Memorial High grads? Could you or have gone to Memorial any time? Would you please stand? Would you please stand so we get a lot of... The reason why I ask this question, of those people, how many of you graduated in the JFK? How many of you graduated in the JFK? Yeah, we're not sweating like we used to before, so that's over. That's over. Things have changed. Among our graduates, I know who you are, but I'd like those entering the military to please stand and be honored. Those entering the military, let's hear it for these individuals. Our final student speaker this evening is our valedictorian. And I was trying to write what her intro would be after she told me there'd be 35 family members here in the audience over there. And in walks her brother, Anson. And Anson said, Mr. A, would you please introduce me as the older brother of my sister who's given a speech? And I said, Anson, I'm not doing that. I'm not mentioning at all that you're related to Christine, okay? So I'm sorry, it's not happening, okay? Our valedictorian will be studying biology at the University of Vermont come the fall. She's a brilliant young lady, and we can be more happy that she'll be giving the valedictory today, Miss Christine Lee. fellow graduates, family, and friends. I wish I could say good evening to the teachers as well, but most of them could not be here tonight. It is not that they do not care about our accomplishments, but that they are simply thinking about what coming to this graduation would mean for them. The teachers are finally taking a stand, wanting to be recognized for all of the extra unpaid work they have put in to make our school. <laughs> to make our school and our lives better. From helping students with both personal and academic challenges to advising us on topics our parents cannot, all while struggling to get grades back in a timely manner, our teachers do much more than teach, and they deserve more recognition for all they do for us. When the teachers struggled, the students faced the repercussions. Our last year at Memorial was wild, to say the least. From the moment we stepped through those all too familiar doors in September, so many things have gone wrong, or just differently than they had in the past. First, homecoming was postponed indefinitely because we were not sure if it could happen without having teachers as chaperones. Then we could put it on with parents and volunteers as chaperones, but it was postponed that time due to inclement weather. Um, but then finally we had it in November, but it wasn't really a homecoming at all because it was way after the homecoming game. <laughs> yeah. 
In years past, the seniors have voted on a faculty member that they wish to see speak at this very commencement. We don't have one. Um, in years past, the school has had spirit. We didn't have much until about April when we actually started participating in Crusader Pride Day. Mr. Adamakis was on to something there. In years past, classes have feuded left and right, but this year, we all banded together in support of both our teachers and each other. As we reach the end, it's hard, it's hard not to recall the last four years in bitter reminiscence. Walking through those unfamiliar doors to unfamiliar faces freshman year, our teachers guided us as we found ourselves. We immediately made new friends and unfortunately drifted from the people we had known since elementary school. High school was funny in that way because it kept some people together and tore others apart. You could have a huge fight with your best friend over the dumbest little thing, but have to make up because you had to see them six periods a day, and it would be way too inconvenient to continue quarreling. We joined clubs and teams. We watched as our school lost some games and meets, but won others. Even though we have not won a football game in several years, we never stopped believing in our boys. We'll get them next time! <laughs> I'm sure everyone in this room can remember those specific classes that we enjoyed going to every day. Always remember those teachers that put a smile on your face and made you happy to come to school. Look back at these past four years with a positive outlook. These are the memories we should cherish now and forever. Life will never be as easy as it was in high school. As our lives changed at Memorial, the world did too. As we joined together to support Mrs. Tebow's strength, more people finally began caring about the environment and its bleak future. As we made our own sophomore shirts to fuel our feud with the juniors, more people have taken a stand in against injustices of race, gender, and sexuality. As we celebrated leaving early because the pipes burst in the 100 wing, more people started realizing that allowing children to have a safe education is more important than allowing people to obtain a semi-automatic rifle. But we still have a long way to go. Abortion rights were taken away as we pied teachers and students in the face. Immigrants were losing their sense of freedom as we frantically crammed for midterms and finals. The rights of transgender members of the military were stripped away as we created a giant human Christmas tree. In some sects of life, we are moving forward, but in others, we are rapidly moving back in time. It is our responsibility as the future generation to make the world proud. Make our brothers and sisters who suffered for being themselves proud. Make our fellow American students who could not make it to their own graduation because they showed up to school on the wrong day proud. Make our future generations proud. Once we leave this building, high school will be behind us, but life will continue. We will meet new people and make new memories, but we should never forget the people we met and the memories we made in the last four years together. I hope to see you all at the reunions the class officers are in charge of running for the rest of their lives. Really dodge a bullet there. Thanks for not voting for me, guys. I like student council better anyway. I'm not bitter. As we all move on with the rest of our lives, there are only two things I ask of you. Never let life simply pass you by and never let yourself become ignorant about what's going on in the world. It's our future and we have the ability to make a change. Thank you. Our next speaker is a lifelong resident of Manchester. She's a graduate of Green Acres Elementary School, Southside Middle School, and of course, Manchester Memorial High School. She earned a bachelor's degree from the University of New Hampshire in Durham in Business Administration, and first took elective office as a Ward 1 school board member for one term. She followed that up with election to the board of Mayor of Alderman, and now is our 48th mayor for the city of Manchester and first female mayor in the city's history. Please allow me, and she's still wearing her cheerleader jacket from 1985, okay, which she did last year. All right, I know I, Your Honor, I, I know I can't fit in my high school clothes, but 
I'm glad you can. Please allow me to introduce the chairman of the Board of School Committee and the mayor of the city of Manchester, the Honorable Joyce Craig. Thank you. Good evening. Congratulations, graduates. As a proud Memorial graduate, it's an honor to be here with you and with your families on this wonderful occasion. I'd like to begin by thanking the parents, teachers, school staff, coaches, mentors, and friends who helped guide all of our graduates to this special day. As a mother of two Manchester High School graduates, I know firsthand the work to get here is shared by the student, family, and so many other supporters who made sure all of you showed up on time, did your homework, found jobs, passed driver's ed, had a plan, and made sure that you're prepared for the next phase of your lives. When I graduated from Memorial back in 1985, I never thought that I'd be back on this graduation stage three decades later as mayor. I don't think Mr. Ray did either. But it's funny how things happen. In 2008, I was a parent concerned about education in Manchester. My determination to make our community better led me to take a chance and run for political office. At 18 years old, and at, even at 28 years old, I never thought I'd be a public servant. It wasn't my plan. But it's the arena I belong in because it's where my passion lies. So my message for all of you graduating today is that while your plans are important, your passion, your perseverance, and your ability to dare greatly are qualities that will drive you in life and help you find happiness and success. And always remember to give back. Our cities and communities thrive when people come together and listen to each other. Collaboration is key, so be sure to surround yourself with people who have different ideas and beliefs. They will challenge and inspire you. But this class already knows that. When I spoke to your teachers, they said you are, very thought, you are a very thoughtful class and have done great, a great job supporting one another. Whether it's celebrating your fellow student, Thantrup Wynn, who became an American citizen this year, Or, as Christine already mentioned, banding together in a sea of red shirts to show Memorial's Tebow Strong. Great job. Your class has captured the heart of what family and community means in true Crusader style. So I want you all to remember that Manchester will always be your home. Our city is home to some of the most exciting and innovative jobs around the world. Our city is thriving and our future is bright. So while I encourage you to travel and to grow and to experience the world, don't forget that our city is the best place to live and work and raise your family. You're an exceptional group of students. So I urge you to continue to strive to be individuals of great character, to serve others, and to continue to make our world a better place. Thank you and congratulations. I was going to take a selfie, but I'm going to use this picture right here. What do you think? No? Maybe? Okay. All right. <clears throat> no, is not that funny? Let's move on. Our final speakers this evening are probably the two hardest working people in the school district. I mean, I was looking at Tom Gurton juggling the ball, the apples. I don't know how they do it with the short staff that they have, but they have wor been working so hard the last several months uh, of this school year that I, I really... I don't know how they're doing it, and, and I, I'm really in awe of the work they've put in, countless hours. But it gives me great pleasure to introduce my bosses, the co-superintendents of school, Amy Allen and Jennifer Gillis. Good evening. Your Honorable Mayor and members of the Board of School Committee, as interim co-superintendents of the Manchester School District, we hereby confirm that all students who will receive diplomas today have met all of the gradu graduation requirements of the New Hampshire State Board of Education 
and the New Hampshire Board of School Committee, and therefore qualify for a high school diploma with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Junior class officers, will you please rate the graduates for their diplomas? Ready? We're in position. Take them down. Front row. Now, as the uh, graduates get into position, moms and dads, if you've been to one of our graduations before in the past few years, you know I let the students. Leave they want to leave. Leave the way they want to leave. So, this is not the way their diploma reads in some cases. So I hope they prepared you ahead of time. Because some of these are out there. The present and salutatorian Thomas Jennings Girton, the Vice President Evan M. Young, the Secretary Lucas Timothy Hurley, the Treasurer Tyler Edward Merrill, the Valedictorian Christine Lee, Third honors, Jason L. Tang. Fourth honors, Elise Delaney Pinsano. Fifth honors, Sophia Hong. Sixth honors, Ileana Diaz. Seventh honors, Ashley E. Woods. Eighth honors, Olivia Rose McNally. Ninth honors, Emily Britton. Tenth honors, Marie Garland. Jacob D. Rollins. Margaret O'Neill. Jeru Afutu. Mamour H. Ahmed. Niancor Moses Akok. Ayat Al Jumali. Tiba Al Jumali. Mustafa Al Tilkridi. Chanel A. Alba. Athalie Natanya Alvarez. <laughs> Ali Amar Ali. Brian B. Andalis. Thomas M. Pollard. Mariah Arnold. Cesar Daniel Ponce. Julie Elizabeth Baker. John A. Alzate. Jonathan A. Bemis. Adam Anderson. Jenna Bienvenu. Andrew R. Aquino. Morgan Elizabeth Blaze. Alex Caveman Ashu.
Playboy, Jason Bouchard. Kaylee Baker. Downtown, Kyle Brown. Ricky M. Bopalan. The one and only Queen Bwee. Wow. Constantina Bizia. James Gil Buttrick. Nicholas Byron. Isaac Trey Calixto. Giancarlo Barrero Rodriguez. Ryan Belmont Cardo. Nicholas Boulanger. Abigail F. Carr. Anna Bree. Caroline Carazzini. Zachary J. Burgess. Natalia Cassiano. Brandon Cayazzo. Alicia Castagnino. Chico H. Gao. Devin Sealingworthy Sella. Glory Rada. Caraballo Rosario. Lexi Serino. Alexander Carrier. Sadie Elizabeth Clark. They get to pick stadium voice or no stadium voice, just so you know. Jacob Case. Robert Big Tex Collins the third. Jonathan Matthew Cassoni. Tiana L. Comer. Hamza Chavon. Ariana Cook. Olivia Faye Shalog. Nathan Cody, Rebecca Eve Civitella, Nicholas Stephopoulos, Christopher Colburn Jr., Olivia Daly. <laughs> the board wonder, Christian Colon. Caleb G. DeCoast. Nicole Contreras. Kendall Hamilton Demers. Carlos David Cosme Rodriguez Jr. <laughs> Adam P. DeHayes for days. Dahlia Lynn Dagger. Jasmine Diaz Barrientos. Tyreek Islam Darwish. Peter, the wholesome Christian baby boy, Dan. Jalen DeLong. Olivia Drake. <laughs> Philip Philly Cheesesteak Dale. Sporting the latest in winter wear. Tuan Dong. Jacob Forbes DeRochers. Emily Grace Ryan Duquette. 
Jalen Diaz. Connor Edward Erickson. Preston Theodore Downey. Olivia Reyna Fahey. Asa T. Dupuy. Adam R. Therios. Brianna Lee Eccleston. Regan Joy Folsom. Madison B. Edwards. Taylor Fortier. Leslie Escolastico. Andrew C. Franklin. Amir Fata, or Fata, excuse me, Fata. Christian D. Fraser. Cameron Faust. Ryan Gagnon. Josh Fraser. Jalen J. Galan. Danielle Frazier. Joshua Gessner. Nathan M. Gagnon Blanchett. Samuel K. Gilbert. The realist. Melvina Gay, period. Paige A. Guile. Jalen Gilbert. Alexis Marie Nash Glode. Kaylin Guile. Alyssa Grassi. Matthew Christopher Grant. Don Garung. Brandon A. Gray. Noemi X. Gutierrez. Connor Grinier. Abubakar R. Habunimana. Matthew D. Gazetta. <laughs> Giovanni Lil G. Hartford. Elizabeth Ann Halley. Caitlin Elizabeth Hathcoat. Aaron Hartman. Shalimar Hernandez Fantauzi. Megan Karen Hebert. Catherine I. Holmes. Trung Hong. Really? Gavin Gavino Lafredo Huntley. Kristen Hurst. Ashley Jackson. Mary Beth Collette Jamrog. Reynaldo Jimenez. Jericho Johnson. Eric M. Johnston. Nicholas Merrill Johnson. Paige Jutris. Brianna Joseph. Elizabeth Maria Kelleher. Jordan P. Keel. Artemisha Eslina Khan. Ryan Kenny. Tahar Kudair. Johnny J. Corey. K. 
Kim Kimball. Kimberly Kin. Maximilian T. King. Mark A. Kimball. Alexander James missed the lacrosse, Lacasse Innes. Colin LaFleur. Lucretia LaFond. The better Philly cheesesteak, Philip LaForge. Cormac Morris Landman. Madeline LaPierre, Nayeli Lorenzo Medina, Coral Marie Lee, Dylan J. Lemieux, Morgan Kathleen Leonard, Joshua Connor Longden, Scott Lewis, Nathan J. Lucha, Yesenia Lopez, Ryan Edward Leonard Maloney, really? Okay, Mom and Dad, this is for you. Jake, Jakey Poo Poo Mador. Anthony Martinez, Tyler W. Maroy, Skyler Ray Maynard, Prayer S. Mastachorus, Corey McLaughlin, Callan M. McKeo, Kamal Mehich. Aaron McMurray, Marielle Mendez, Alexis Messina. You're not smiling, Steph? Stephanie Georgia Milios, Zachary James Miller, Madeline K. Motabek. Madison Rose Manasian. Dylan James Morani. Matthew R. Motabek. Colby Mole. Anthony C. Moscaratolo. Evan Monroe. Tariq Mukanovic. Alyssa J. Neal, Nicholas Edward Murphy, the original one and only Tyreek Noel, David Mejia, Hannah Lynn O'Connell, Emily Elisa Newman, Mercedes Omer Begovich, Thun Trek Win Noah Oxendine Ashton Caroline Norcross Gavin Richard Paulino Lexi Otterson Madeline Perez Akwasi Owusu. Alina V. Pham. Tia Pacheco. Emily Philibert. Karis Perry. Abigail Grace Pyatt. 
Jason Manuel Perez. Patrick J. Plant. Mindy Sue Perkins. Kiana Raquel Plaza. Nefam. Nikolai Vladimirovich Pustovalov. Miranda B. Pierre. Colby N. Raymond. McKenna Platt. Chloe Elizabeth Rich. John Vladimirovich Pustovalov. David Ryapel. Sierra Randall. Catherine Rivera Nunez. Lucas E. Reinhold. William Rivera. McKenna Riley. Cody Roby. Xavier, also known as, also known as X, gonna give it to you, Rios. X, that was a mouthful, what can I tell you? <laughs> Julia E. Ronan. Patrick Eric Rivard. Juliana Sad. Emily L. Robichaud. Zachary Birchman Seitz. Isaiah Rodriguez. Andrea Nayeli Sanchez. Miguel Ange Angel Rosario. Matthew Scott Pro Tour. Abung Rumraj. Isaac Serrano. Victoria, Jedi Master, Seidel. Carlos, Bob Dill, Sanchez, Altieri, Pastor Jr. Nicholas Shea. Hunter Sansusi. Autumn Lee Simino. Ahmed Selimovich. Ivana Slivinskaya. Ari Rose Seymour. Lewis Banana Bread at Work Smith. Jack Sharp. Brooke Snelling. Arian Shrestha. Winnie the Weinster Sono. John the Chakra Aligning Sonat. Alyssa Susi. Hayden A. Soares. Or Soares. Autumn Lynn Stavanger. Anthony St. Germain. Cassandra Stone. Noel Stillwell. Eric Skinner. Haley Stone. Emma Faustina Sullivan. Marley Ann Sullivan. Caitlin Marie Sylvia. Iman Taha. Suzanne Taha. Matthew Alexander the Great Talbot. Sarah Tardif. Ethan Till. Connor Tebow. 
Logan Richardson Tonneson. Oh, Richard Tonneson. Kenneth Tran. Jack Tremble. Sally Trung. Christopher Ryan Turgeon. Taylor Ann Ucello. Raymond Vargas. Connor A. Valencourt. Ileana Rose Vega Estrada. Sean Michael Vargabedian. Maceo L. Vincent. Jordan N. Vili. Bao Vo. Rainy Moises Vitini Garcia. Jordan Wagner. Alexander Wackenfeld. Emma Joan Walker. Eliza Wade. David Alexander Warren. Jessica Amy Wall. Dylan James Webb. Brian Webb. Claire Anna Welch. Hannah Lynn Weber. Alex TV Woodrow. Samantha A. Willie. Mohammed Hamza Zishan. The iconic Michaela Lynn Worrell. And last but not least, Mercedes Abigail Wyman. Mr. Biglisi, Mr. Biglisi. I'd like to ask the graduates to please rise. Move your tassel from right to left, signifying your graduation from Manchester Memorial High School. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. Maestro, ring it up. I said 70, I did it under one. Actually, actually, I'm I did 710. Or shoot for 710.